Authorities at the Uganda Human Rights Commission have condemned last Sunday's offensive at the palace of the Renzuru King in Kasese district. The attack by security forces saw scores of people get killed. The commission's acting chairperson, Katebalirwe Amoti, says they have started conducting investigations into the killings. The commission is further concerned by the most recent nasty clashes in Kasese last weekend, which led to widespread loss of lives and property, injury to persons, and disruption of normal life, as well as the arrest of several suspects. He further says they have received 30 petitions of human rights abuses from the Renzori region this year. And these violations are mainly to do with the violation of the issue of personal liberty, being detained beyond 48 hours, or torture. The acting director also spoke out about the arrest of King Charles Wesley Mumbele. From what I understand the laws of this country, and particularly the matter of the laws in this country, the constitution, the cultural leader is not above the laws of this country. Officials at the Uganda Human Rights Commission say they have conducted extensive research on the causes of the conflict in Renzori region, which they documented in a report. Some of the findings include rivalries related to ethnicity, inequitable sharing of resources, the lack of implementation on recommendations by previous inquiries, and the failure to adhere to legal provisions, among others. There are widespread incidents of attacks on security institutions which are put in place to provide law and order, therefore leading to unnecessary clashes. Then the trigger of separatist and secessionist tendencies. Such a tendencies were noted among some groups in the region who are reported to have indoctrinated and incited some members of the communities in the Renzori region and therefore caused widespread militarization of the youth. Some of the recommendations call for the various categories of people in the Renzori region to remain calm. It also appeals to the political leaders to work towards achieving stability in the country. We call upon the security agencies on the ground in Kasese to do their work in a professional manner while being mindful of Article 221 of the Constitution, which requires all security agencies to observe and respect human rights and freedoms in the performance of their functions.